Left Marion, Illinois yesterday, drove about 360 miles to Lexington, Kentucky. Got me, went to recreation.gov, got me a campground, but sometimes you have to read the fine print because I didn't read the fine print, so I'll show you what happened to me. But anyway, it seems to be a pretty nice campground. It's up in the woods, I mean, it's Daniel Boone National Forest, the name of the campground is on. Uh, twin knob, yeah, but. Anyway, let me show you what happened to me. I'll get, you know, that way. Maybe it won't happen to y'all. But as y'all can see, it's a real nice campsite I got. Got some nice trees. The only bad thing about it, I got the main road behind me there. But other than that, real nice campsite. There's old little man finally popped his head up. but And it's deep in the woods. They're pretty isolated. I mean, they're not all crammed together like a lot of the times. I believe the bathhouse is right over there by the American flag. We'll go check that out later, but I need to wake up a bit and then I'm going to go check everything out. Little man. You daddy's pretty boy? You, know, you still sleepy sleep? Huh? Little man still sleepy sleep? Okay, hopefully y'all can read this, but as you can see, when I went to recreation.gov and picked out my site, and that's exactly the side of I am. It says $35 a night. But if you don't read all the fine prints, it actually comes out to $54 a night. So, yeah, I ended up paying $54 a night for a $35 a night campground because I didn't read the fine print. And this is uh, what they told me the reason why. So, let me skip to the next page. Okay, this is the exact email they got from recreation.gov, and y'all can freeze it up if you want to, but basically what they said, two nights of camping, $50, electric hookups, yeah, they charge you for electricity, so you pay $35 a night to camp, and then you pay another $10 a night for electricity, and then on top of that, there's a $9 reservation fee, so apparently... The girl up at the hut, you know, when you first come in, you got to check in. She told me this campground's been taken over by a thousand trails, and that's who runs it. So that might be the reason for that. But other than that, real nice campground. It's just super high for me. I mean, when you come from New Mexico, you used to pay them $4 a night. When you start paying $54 a night, you definitely need to get something checked in your mind. But there you go. I just figured I'd share that with y'all big campground so I'm gonna run around and do a little bit of searching but as you can see I'm right there you come in right there but yeah it's got a whole lot of sites and everything is all sites may be reserved and it is run by the thousand trails management so yeah maybe that's for all the extra fees from so let's go do some exploring okay this here is your typical site I'll take you up in there and show you all about it, but usually you got your um, bear pole, you got your fire pit, you got your picnic table, and then you got your electrical hookup, but I'll give you all a closer look. Let's go check it out. Okay, right there you got your electric box, then you got your bear pole right there, real nice picnic table, fire pit right there, but as you can see, it's a real nice level spot. And all of them were leveled out like this with gravel and timbers around them. But yeah, there you go. That's your typical spot in the whole campground. There's my little patient buddy waiting on daddy to come back. And here comes my little patient buddy. No, you can't get out. No. Oh, well. Maybe he's got to get out and do his business like sniff all over the place. Because that's what he normally does. Okay, come on, little man. Let's go bye-bye. Come on. Hey, come on. Ran around the park. Um, besides the campgrounds, there's really not nothing here. I mean, I see boats everywhere, so I guess they figure out a way to get out there on the lake. But everything is closed. Can't, uh, the playgrounds are closed. The beach is closed. The boat ramp is closed. Um, and believe it or not, I ran into the manager of the park, just out riding around, checking out the campgrounds. I tried to get him to explain you know these fees to me and he said um basically this campground has nothing to do with the Corps of Engineering that the only thing the Corps of Engineering has anything to do with is the dam itself but as far as the campground it's a state-run campground so 
at the state-run campground. I don't understand why I got a discount because usually you don't get discounts at state park campgrounds. So, yeah, we talked for about 10 or 15 minutes and still didn't get no clear answer on why I got charged what I got. I mean, so, I don't know. On a scale of 1 to 10, if I was going to stay here again, it'd probably be a zero. And I'm just being straight up honest with you because $35 a night plus $10 electric charge when you're already paying them $35 for electric site just doesn't make sense to me and and then as far as the res reservation fee he said I had to pay reservation fee because I did it online and I went through uh, Reserve America if you pay up at the shack when you first come in you don't have to pay the reservation fee so I don't know a real strange campground I've never been in one like this and if y'all watch my channel y'all know I go all over the United States and I bet I've been in 50 of these COE campgrounds and this is the first time I've ever ran into this problem but and then you know I commented on I said man I don't, I don't see how people afford $35 a night plus $10 electric and he you know he didn't get smart or anything he just said well we're packed on weekends I mean people flock here from all over the place just to camp here and I'm like wow well I told him straight up I said this is one man won't be back here me and little man we can't afford that because, I mean, if you put up $35 a night and you're living on the road, you'd be broke by, you know, by the end of the month. I mean, I don't see how people do it, but mostly it's a, what I can see is a family campground, a lot of kids riding bikes, but like he said, the beach is closed, boat ramp is closed. Uh, he said they do have a couple basketball courts open, but other than that, they're, you know, he said there really isn't anything to do, and he says he don't know why they call this recreation campground because there's no recreation so yeah a little confusing but you know i used campground i stayed a couple nights because it's hot here in the south real humid so i didn't want to be without my ac but i guess best thing to do is do your research or read the fine print or i don't know what to say i mean it's the first time i've ever gotten ripped off like this or screwed you know whatever you want to call it but yeah overall i'm not happy at all about this situation it's not really the the money, it's more a fact that nobody can explain to me why I got charged what I got charged. But, you know, that's all I can say. But anyway, that's going to be the end of this video. It's a short video because it wasn't a whole lot to film. You know, I just gave y'all a shot of the campground. So, if y'all enjoyed the video, give me a thumbs up. Hopefully, y'all learned something so you don't have to learn it the hard way like I did. And I'll see y'all next video. Next video, I'll probably be home and... I'm going to go home, be home for three or four days, clean the camper up real good, get a good washing on or a good gel coat, and then I'm going to head down to John Curie Lake at the COE campground. I know for a fact because I've stayed there before, and I'm meeting up with the, um, a little lady I met up at the um, Minnesota Rally, and we're going to go down there and camp for four or five days. You know, she wants to get away, and I'd like to get away, and yeah, from just, you know, camp until my doctor's appointments. Then last week in August, I'll come home and do my doctor thing. And after my doctor things, I think I think this year I'm going to head south before I head out west. Even if I head out west, I'm not sure. But I think I'm going to do the North Carolina, South Carolina, Georgia, Florida. And then start inching my way west and just see how it goes. But, yeah, I hope you all learned something because I sure learned something out of this. But have a great day. See you all in the next video.